Hey Aries, what is up? What is up? We are manifesting as above. So below, you're manifesting a brand new start here. You're looking at the world and going, um, I'm the creator, baby. I'm the creator. Welcome. If you're new, my name is Svetlana. As you can tell, we have fun here, but most importantly, we recognize that we are the conscious creator of our reality. And how do we do that? Through healing, through um, expanding our consciousness and elevating our vibrations, our thoughts, and speaking, talking, acting from our higher self. If you're returning, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. This is, um, yeah, for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, Saturn, and Mars. Why not? Check out your other placements. What do I always say? Do not just put yourself in your sun box. You never know what you might resonate with and what you might hear. Whatever you click on, you were guided there, right? It's all about synchronicities, baby. And I've been saying baby a lot. I don't know what that means. <laughs> But I like it. So we're going to go with it. 111 as I said that. Silly. We got seven of swords. Okay. Nine of cups. We got strength, baby. Sagittarius temperance. Four of swords. Two of um, wands is back. You are holding the world and saying, yep, I will create anything I want three of pentacles creating building knight of swords the hierophant okay taurus and i want a, a lover <laughs> carrie bradshaw here uh gemini energy we got the lovers here ace of swords communication clarity wisdom if we're gonna be real here all right let's go why why is the seven of swords though i mean you know that's just everything else looks great but that's seven of swords which is not bad you could be protecting yourself your energy here we got page of pentacles page of cups three of pentacles hmm your challenge is nine of cups so you're you're definitely you want to build something whatever you want to build you're ready to put in your time energy and love the thing is i think someone else is coming in to build with you and you just don't trust them because they've been silent for a hot minute we have four of swords someone either ghosted you or took a long time out because you see them in the seven of swords someone who snuck out literally ghosted or is now creeping back in going hey here's my cup of love in which look they are drinking from the cup <laughs> so okay and you're standing there oh this could also be an apology with a page of pentacles but you're standing there ready to build and you're like bro what are you doing we we need that we need to put that into the three of pentacles you have that twice right so someone's ready to build someone's ready to um indulge What's the nine of cups, please? Why is that your challenge? Two of cups. Yeah, okay, soulmate connection. Yeah, we got communication coming in. And a brand new beginning. Ace of pentacles. Make sure you're aligned with your higher self when this communication comes in. And make sure you're acting from your heart space, right? Make sure you're not sitting in the Seven of Swords and feeding yourself uh, self-deceptive thoughts about this, right? Because we we will manifest whatever we are putting out. So if you're putting out, um, if you're telling this Wheel of Fortune, I might I can spin a million times, I won't get anything good or you know honest or someone trustworthy. The universe is going to be like, oh, you want to play this game? I know how to play this game. I will give you everything you're thinking, right? Because remember, the universe is always playing with us. And what we get is what we put out. That's a hard pill to swallow <laughs> this early in the morning. <laughs> if you're watching in the morning, look at that. Seven of Swords is out again. Page of Swords, they're definitely keeping an eye on you. After a tower moment, what did I say? Someone just bounced someone bounced and you were left here alone to build or rebuild whatever it is but look someone like literally went during the night 
and they, <laughs> they went during the night and they're coming back during the day i am done look at the look at that they're they're bringing back the swords they're, they're like oh i'm done playing it's fun <laughs> oh we have fun here oh okay so let's see what's the sagittarius here wow king of cups eight of cups queen of cups so you also haven't walked away okay aries you're still looking at the cups you haven't walked away either why you i thought i thought aries gonna be like i walked away i'm like so far behind the line i can't even see the line you're still staring at the cups and you're still going where are you <laughs> um but yeah we could be dealing with um cancer or scorpio here we have a we have a counterpart there's love what can i say there's love and uh sagittarius here you got to learn how to be patient and go with the flow you have to start going with the flow aries um listen if you're waiting for someone to come back okay but right there's one thing to wait and there's another thing to start creating because it's not about anything external, right? It, you can create anything you want on your own. You don't need someone else, right? And I think this is what um, Sagittarius here, Temperance, is trying to tell you. Whatever you're going, oh man, this power tell, well, how am I supposed to rebuild? It's just me, you know, I'm just by myself. Guess what? <laughs> you are a freaking emperor, Aries, don't forget that. And he, on any card, he's sitting there on his own, right? So just not sure who needed to hear that. But yeah, don't forget your divine masculine and your divine feminine. Speaking of, that's your final that's your final card. Balance that out. And like I said, get aligned. Make sure you're aligned. Going back to that. What's the two of wands? You got a decision here. You got a choice. Two of Wands, please. The Devil. <laughs> Capricorn. We got... Oh, could be dealing with a Capricorn. We got a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Oh, and Aquarius. Um, What did I just say, though? What did I just say um, about creating anything you want? You, you have all the potential to be... Um, abundant to be wealthy to have people around you to be supported to be whatever it is you desire right but hold up now you have these two contradicting cards you have desire right and you have wish fulfillment how much do you want to make sure you're not like either overworking overspending over anything right because you, you got the devil in here there these two people are bound to something or someone um codependency maybe uh what else you could be spending all your time checking up on their social tarot readings notice where your attention goes right are you putting enough time into visualizing your future your wish fulfillment because remember i just literally thank you spirit your challenge was nine of cups and that's wish fulfillment that's filling your own cup so a lot of you are ignoring healing and we don't ignore healing here. A lot of you are not. A lot of you are meditating, taking care of the inner self. But a lot of you need to hear this. In order to reach any kind of stability, whatever you want, you got to you gotta heal yourself first. Right? Notice what you're indulging in. You could be partying too much. You could be drinking too much. Let's go. Uh, what's the higher fun here in your hopes and fears? As above, so below, baby. You got to change your mindset. You got to reprogram yourself. <gasps> the Empress, yes. A ten of Wands and another meditation card, Four of Swords. So, yes. We got to, there's a lot you need to release, baby. There's so much you have to release. It's blocking your path. And how do we do that? We meditate. We silence our mind. What do I say? In silence, we find clarity. And it's not only clarity five the higher fence change 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 your belief systems Re, uh, there's a lot of things you're holding 
that are no longer serving you. It could be whatever you were taught, maybe old program, old way of doing things. Maybe you keep repeating the same cycles. Notice your patterns, take a second, meditate. Remember, we never play victim here. We're always growing, we're always improving and we don't judge ourselves, right? But look, as above, so below, you have the ability, you have all the elements to create, masculine and feminine. What did I just say? Beautiful balance, harmony. Make sure you're visualizing, make sure you're feeling what it is you want to manifest and that's how you will be attracting it. Because never forget what a loving soul you are. A lot of you need to get grounded. Taurus, Libra, Energy, Virgo, uh, Scorpio. Literally, go sit on a boulder, go sit on a rock, go sit in nature and just take it and breathe. Thank you. A lot of you need to do breath work. You need to put some space between um, your consciousness, your spirit, your soul, and your uh, thoughts, which is going back to meditation. What's the lovers? What's the lovers here? What's the lovers? Please, for my Aries. Wheel of Four, you saw that fly out. Brand new beginnings, baby. <sighs> once you start going with the flow, once you start trusting your intuition, once you start becoming comfortable with not knowing, comfortable with uncertainty. What did I say? Go sit on a boulder, get grounded. That's how you become comfortable, right? Two of, and you will have options. It seems like you will have options, but guess what? Once you're flowing, you won't overthink those options, right? Whoever comes back, comes back, new, new, you won't have a problem. You won't be indecisive because you know you make this wheel spin and every uh, decision you make will be with certainty. This is so gorgeous. We do have three of cups, reconciliation, celebration, bottom of the deck. Aries, this is gorgeous. Let me do strength really fast. What's the strength? Leo energy. What's the strength? What does Aries need strength for? To release control. What did I just say? To release control. To become certain and have faith that the universe is flowing with you. And guess what fell out? The sun. Happiest card in the deck inner peace that's a double leo you got strength you know the biggest strength here is to be um trusting you have to start trusting yourself and the universe look at that double leo. look at this yellow confidence Ta getting your confidence back putting your shoulders back welcoming in this happiness oh my god and re recognizing a lot of you that you're worth the happiness that's coming in. You're worth this fortune. You're worth this love, the sunlight. You're worth all the love that you can give and receive. <sighs> that's what it is. A lot of you need to heal. You're going to get that um, upgrade through healing. <sighs> oh, this is the clarity, Mother Trucker. This is the clarity that's coming in. Divine love for yourself. And then what, everything else will start falling. Aries, and let this fall. Let this fall because beautiful new things are going to rise up. Pun intended. All right, beautiful reading. Thank you so much, Aries. Ah, <laughs> Make sure you're aligned with your higher self. Uh, get grounded. If this resonated, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. I love you. Best of luck. And uh, who do we have? Libra, Taurus. We honestly have everyone. Cancer, Scorpio, Saggi, heavy. Gemini, Leo, also heavy. Virgo, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Aquarius. We got Cappy. Namaste.